Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at counting uh, in Excel with multiple criteria. So in order to do that we're going to be using the COUNTIF function. So COUNTIFs, if you're not familiar already, is an extension to the COUNTIF function. Uh, COUNTIF function allows us to uh, perform a count uh, based on a single criteria. Uh, what COUNTIFs allows us to do is then add in a second, third or even fourth, uh, continuing on, uh, as a number of criteria as you require. So we've got a really simple table on the left hand side here giving us some fruit and the colour of that fruit and we're just going to apply a criteria to that uh, and show you how you can count uh, to see when your criteria is matched. So let me just get rid of this result we've got over here and we'll get rid of our criteria and we'll start from afresh. So the first thing we need to do is... Well, we're going to just jump straight in. Uh, we're going on to the count formulas or count ifs formula. So what we want to do is we've got a two piece of criteria here and we want to compare those to find out how many occurrences uh, where those criteria match appear in our data set. So you probably saw it a minute ago, but our first piece of criteria we're going to put in is uh, we want to look for the fruit of banana. So we want to find how many times the uh, fruit banana is appearing in this list and also how many times uh, the combination of the fruit banana and the color yellow is appearing. So it might seem like a very simple uh, scenario we're looking at here, so I'm sure you're probably not looking to do this in your work, but hopefully it serves as a good purpose uh, to demonstrate how to use the count is function. So what our formula is going to do is basically say, okay, find the number of occurrences where banana is here, find the number of occurrences where uh, yellow is, or where banana is here and yellow is in the second column, and then tell us how many times that occurrence appears. So for us to do this function, all we need to do is to our equal symbol and type in count ifs and open brackets. And upon opening our brackets, you'll see the, the prompt that we have here. So the, the format we're going to have here is pretty much select your range and then the criteria, select your second range and then your second criteria. So the first thing we want to do is select uh, our fruit range. So you can see that's B7 to B13 and do comma. And then we want to now define the criteria to apply to that range. So for us, it's going to be this criteria number one here, banana. You could type it in uh, using quotations uh, like so. Oh, that's the at symbol. Uh, B like this. Um, but we're going to opt for the more dynamic solution or just selecting the cell reference uh, so it's more dynamic. And you'll see why in a minute. Once we've entered that criteria, we can do comma again. And we'll now move on to criteria range two. So the second range we want is the color. So we're going to just select this range here for our color. Do the comma. So we then move into our criteria two. What's the criteria to apply to range two? And then we can simply just select yellow from here. Once we've done that, we'll close our brackets so you can see the full function here. And it's uh, each uh, section has been highlighted a different color. And what's very useful to obviously differentiate between what part of the function you're in. Once we've got to that, we can hit enter and you can see we get the result of number one. So why is that? Well, we can see that banana is appearing three times in the fruit column. So we can see there's one there, one here, and we can see banana there. So we can see it appears three times. But in the other the two of those times, we can see it's got banana green or banana red. It only actually appears once with the combination of banana yellow and it's this banana yellow here in green that we're going to be counting in our result to give us the number one. If we were to change one of these other results and now this is the benefit of having our uh, criteria dynamically referenced by obviously putting in the cell reference that contains the value here. If we were to change another one of these to the color or desired color of yellow and hit enter you can see that our result has now updated to the number two. Another benefit, well obviously the same benefit really, but just to do another example, if we now change our criteria one of the fruit to apple, and let's pick a green, uh, we can put that in here. You can see now it's gonna update for us as well. If our combination does not appear, so let's put something in here like, uh, what's a color or combination we don't have? So we don't have apple orange. So if I was to put a combination in here that is not present in our data set, you can see the result is zero. So you won't get an error, you'll just get a zero to indicate that it's not appeared at all, therefore it's not being able to count any occurrences of this combination. Uh, 
So a really quick scenario, uh, well not scenario, sorry, a really quick step through the count this function, but it is quite short and sweet and we hope you obviously learn everything that you need to now apply this uh, function to your work. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. It's obviously greatly appreciated by us and it does really help the channel. Uh, obviously as well, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for, but do subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification button and then that way you'll be notified of all of our future videos as soon as they come out. If you do have any further questions, feel free to drop us a comment below this video or reach out to us in one of the links in the description for this video. Uh, so we've got our Facebook and our Instagram account in there as well and even our website. So you can contact us via one of those links as well. Uh, we've also actually got a couple other links to uh, some additional training and some content. So if you want to check those out again, links to the, in the description of this video, uh, go have a look and it will only be beneficial for you to do so. So thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.